Hey guys, it's O Splinter Snaker with another custom f figure review. Like this time we have Ultimate Four. Looking bad ass, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, this figure's got a bit of a history, um, which I will go into. Uh, I will give you a couple of quick comparisons firstly, get them over and done with. This is actually my custom um, uh, movie for. Ah, who's falling over? He's not that really custom. I haven't really done much to him. Simple cape, which you know, ooh, we got a cloth cape. Um, his hips, uh, I don't like the forty to five degree hips that go in that angle. I like teacup, so I took them out and I swapped them for some WWE. I don't know WWE elite. I don't do wrestling. It's the guy who wears the free core length jean, FEMA jiggies. Bulky guy, fitted perfectly. That's all I've really done with him. Oh, the head is actually Marvel Select head. I never got the Avengers released one. Just kind of bowled out, fit it on, worked fine. So, yeah. So, his height should be relatively the same. Fair enough, I've got my trusty Returner 4. So you can see if I put him just behind his hammer. Big figures. Damn, they are big figures. Um, anyway, back to my guy. Oh, yeah. Right. This figure's history. My first Ultimate Four, uh, I literally got the Marvel Select one. I swapped the legs over and I put in Sandman's legs, paint and black. Bob's your uncle. I had my Ultimate Four. You know, I didn't like the simple still. You know, that's all you had to do. Uh, but uh, if you've seen the uh, Marvel, what, Spider Man classics, Sandman. Uh, his legs are full of holes, <laughs> like tiny little dots, like to give the effect of sand. So I tried then some other legs. Kevin Nash, uh, the W, I don't know, whatever the hell Wrestling Federation is. I saw a reduced cheap double pack of them, so I grabbed them. I put the Kevin Nash rings, but the guy was like this big afterwards. And I was like, eh, that's too tall. So didn't like them. So what we've got left with was um, I grabbed a Frankenstein's torso from the uh, Marvel Legends Mo Monsters box set which I think gives great definition, nice bulk so he's a big guy, I mean if I get the uh, oh, this, would do. this was my attempt at the Captain America before they released their own one and if you see, you know, it's that's bulky, you know it's what he should be it's bigger than Cap, bulky than Cap he's Bloody cool. Um, so yeah, I kept the Kevin Nash head. I think it looked good. Uh, this is Marvel Select Four's head ha hair. Sorry, Marvel Select hair, front and back belt, hammer, hands, and boot. Um, Frankenstein upper torso, and then WWE uh, Undertaker legs. Damn, it's hard, getting hard to remember all these recipes. Um, but you know, I definitely think it looked good. Came over really well. Uh, puttied, uh, epoxied rather, the lines and his vest. I know he's supposed to have the kind of holes in the back, but I thought it looked a bit stupid, so I just made it a solid tank. Um, I did originally try and glue someone, but they just protruded too much. They look, they look weird. I had a close look at his vest and, you know. Paint job could have been a bit better. I'm, 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 I'm learning, guys. Bear with me. Um, I've, I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it looks good. Uh, this hammer is can be held in both hands, but it's a very tight fit. Watch me snap it on camera. That'd be funny. There we go. Uh, put a bit of uh, glue to get in a nice uh, tighter fit. Ironically, uh, did you squeeze it in? I'm not going to go all the way. It can be held in both hands. See, it does go up. It's just, like I said, tight fit. Um, yeah, I've, I'm, happy, I'm very happy with the figure where it's end results. So I think it looks really good. Um, the belt, as I said, the front and back. The the when I attached it, it was actually too uh, far apart. So I've had to epoxy just a little bit in between. It's, it's noticeable when you look, but you know, from afar, I think it's not that noticeable. Um, so yeah, articulation. His head can go that far back. 
it's kind of, I think it's hindered by his hair more than anything. Uh, that far forward, they're quite nice. Um, his arms, they're on ball joints, so they can go 360 round. They can go up, I don't know, it depends on the, no, that's it, yeah, they can only go up that high. Uh, bicep swivel there. Yeah. Uh, double joint elbow. And just the rotation at the wrist. Same on the other side. Though this hand is kind of like pointing down a bit, so if you notice when it's the hammer's in this hand, it gets like that, but when it's in this hand, it's more like down, so he's going to swing it. Anyway, uh, the ab crunch goes all the way back quite nicely and goes forward to there. The belt stops it. I tried leaving a bit of a gap if you can just, don't know how well, if we get the hands out of the way, of course. See, there's a, I get the sunlight in it as well. There's a gap there. I left tried to leave a bit of a gap just so he can improve his articulation, but you know, obviously. Uh, legs, they're hindered also a bit by the belt, and they can only go up that far. But you know, four's not known for really kicking people in the head, is he? Just kind of just spires them. There's a spire. Anyway, uh, there is a cut there, but uh, no, I glued it. Not a fan, as you will learn again. Uh, double joint knees go back quite nicely. No cut here it's glued straight on because like I said that's the select this is um WWE and then just a bicep brock or a uh, bicep just a boot tilt whatever you want to call them. that far to that far but uh, yeah I mean this is this is four I mean kicks ass got a thunder and all that uh, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to do a uh, removable belt I thought that would be really cool because if anyone's seen read the old uh, comics there's a a pretty good story up where about his belt being taken off. Um, so that I thought that'd be cool, but whatever. I uh, might be able to try to tweak it in the future, but for now, ladies and gentlemen, hold them at four. Thanks for watching. As always.